Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are boarding the Spirit of Tasmania. Um, we've just finished the Great Ocean Road with Jordan's family who have just headed home and we'll be spending about two months over in Tasmania. So we'll be coming home on Christmas morning, which should be interesting. Accidentally, whilst waiting for the ferry, I happened to buy a car which I know I spoke to you about isn't good because I'm not meant to be fucking around with cars anymore but an old classic VC SLE came up and Melbourne prices are bloody good so I've just bought that and that's going on a truck to my mate's place and then from my mate's place to home so that's a bit of content to come home to I've always had a passion for cars as you just know that's how my YouTube channel started but I just lost passion for them because I was so sick of paying people to fix them because I never had the room, the support, and really the tools to do it. So hopefully with this old car, um, I can learn to do things myself and bring you guys along building it. It's already built. I don't buy shit boxes. It's already built. You'll see it. It's all a surprise for now. You'll see it when we get home. We might fly home later down the track just to register and take it for a drive and fly back. Um, but yeah, you'll see it. I'll keep it a surprise for now. But yeah, it's a VC SLE um, V8. Yeah, it's nice. So hopefully I can um, do some work to that when we get home and get some cars back into the YouTube channel. Although now it's called Free Roaming Oz. Doesn't matter. And we do apologise for not posting any content lately. We've kind of just been enjoying it. And we've been waiting... We waited on Alicia's family, spent two days with them. Then we're waiting on my family to do the Great Ocean Road and we just haven't been doing much. We've just been waiting and trying to enjoy waiting. But now we're proper traveling. So it's just two months in Tasmania, back from Tassie, summer all the way to the top of Cairns, Cairns across, Alice Springs, Darwin, and then the rest of it. But because I bought a car, We've got to be a bit smarter with our money. Um, yeah, but yeah, we've been with my family doing the Great Ocean Road and I didn't want to video any of that. It was just good spending time with family. So we do apologize. And But yeah, this the YouTube thing's hard because we're trying to enjoy everything. And then we do Instagram reels too. So trying to video like that, say the same thing, turn the phone, say it again. It's literally a pain in the ass. So, if you are following on YouTube and you want to see more everyday stuff, Instagram and um, Snapchat, we've got Snapchat going, and TikTok, I'm pretty, I got pretty big on TikTok actually, somehow, but yeah. <laughs> whilst we wait to get on the ferry as always no dogs tell you what Tasmania better have the dogs The only thing I care about tonight is that I have Wi-Fi to watch UFC 308. And she just bought a Kindle before we got on the ferry. Good night. Actually, like a cruise ship. Two restaurants, a buffet, reading rooms, gaming, kids' play area, cinema, top deck cafe. 
It's all you can eat buffet. With a view. Huh. Oh, 29 bucks. Grab what you want. Alicia skimped out on the first plate, so we went for another. <laughs> That's better. That's more oh, like it. We're officially on the water. Ten hours to go. trying to watch the UFC and get off the boat at the same time. It's what, 6.30 in the morning. Just got off the ferry, watched the rest of the UFC. Max Holloway got clapped and Robert Whitaker got his jaw broken in a choke. Anyway, that's not the best. I wanted both of them guys to win. But anyway, we just went and filled up. So we got a full tank, $1.75, that's not bad. Um, now we're going to the markets which that looks like that there. What are we gonna get there? Fruit oh, there is fruit and veg there. Yeah. Um, so we're just at this little railway museum by the looks of it. We're gonna go get some fruit and veg and that should last us a week or two, I reckon. And then we've got no plans. So I'm gonna probably spend all day today, go find our first camp and just relax, get some sleep because we didn't really sleep much on those recliners last night. Mm -hmm. The recliners needed a little bit more recline, if you know what I mean. But anyway, um, probably going to spend all day today doing our itinerary and making a wiki cams route because we just used that on the Great Ocean Road with our family, done a full um, pre route of what we're doing, and that was actually pretty cruisy. So now that we're not um, waiting on anybody, we're going to start ticking all the boxes and going around the whole of Tasmania. And I personally think it's not going to take two months, so we might try to see if we can squeeze on an earlier ferry if we finish early. Because, yeah, I want to get home, and I wouldn't mind going to Summer Nats. So if we can get, if we can get back to Melbourne, probably a week or two before Christmas, spend two weeks. I got to get my batteries done, and then spend a week going up to Canberra. And then Summer Nats is on the 3rd and 4th and 5th, I think. So I want to take Alicia to go see some skids. And now that I've just bought a bloody car, I need some uh, inspiration. This place is insane. Look how amazing the soil is. Like I've never seen soil this colour in my life. Like it must be all regenerative farming here. The soil is like, what colour did you say it was? It's like golden burgundy. Like I just want to grab a handful of it and eat it. I got no idea where we're going. But there's a lot of free camps in Tasmania, a lot of $10 a night camps, a few donation camps. Um, we're heading towards Bernie. Going to the Nut. Because that's the first place I remember when I was a kid. My dad brought us here. We went straight to the Nut. So that's what I'm doing. And then we're going to slowly cut through the middle towards Cradle Mountain. Go through the National Parks to I think it's called Strawn. And then Hobart. And then that way we get a bit more of the start of summer. Um, on the whole east coast so it'll be a bit warmer to swim so we're going to do the whole east coast on the last leg of Tasmania so we're going to go up through the middle Hobart and then east coast all the way back to the ferry alright time to do some meat shopping 
We're going to go to the butcher first. We like to support those people over these big corporations. But you can't win them all when you're living this life. This is legit like the Great Ocean Road. So we're taking this road all the way to our first camp for the night. And we're legit camping on the water. For free! The worst thing about Tasmania is, well it's not really the worst, but you have to like spend a bit of money on fishing and stuff. National oh, parks. Oh look at those whiting patches. National parks. Ah uh, yeah, the national parks are expensive, but we're probably just going to get the two month thing. Although the only... Which is a hundred dollars isn't it? Yeah, it's $96, but the national park's only like one tiny bit of the island, so we're probably only going to spend a week there. Otherwise, it's $46 per day. That's insane. Um, and then recreational fishing is like $56 a year in the ocean. And then if you want to fish in a, like a river stream and target freshwater fish, I think it's almost double that. So... Anyway, that's my little hobby. I do fishing, so it doesn't matter, but just a bit of information on Tasmania. But a lot of the camps are $10, donation, free. So where you save your money is camping. So, so we've just gone to two sites that we've been told online, three different uh, online camping ground apps, that they're free camps. One... It's closed. The other one has a sign saying no camping. And um, then there was this other one in between where people must just crack the shit and say, fuck this, I'm just going to camp here. So I went in and spoke to the locals. Um, and they said, um, we don't know. We've had a few people camp out there. We don't really care, but I'm not sure if you're allowed to. So, so much for Tasmania being the home of camping and free camps. It's not a very good first uh, impression, actually, but it is very fantastic. All right, so supposedly we're pulling up to our first camp. <laughs> if we can fit. In, uh, we're just outside of Burnie. It's obviously meant to be a lot bigger than this, but they're doing bits and pieces by the looks. All right, we found a campsite. We went straight to bed, had like four or five hour nap. I reckon it's time. Yeah, we had about a four hour nap. We're right out the front of a construction site. It is so horrible here. But then you swing around here. Yatsi! What a horrible life we have. Nice grass patch. Right on the ocean. We're going to get our steps in for the first time in seven days because we've just done the Great Ocean Road with my family and they introduced us back to, into obesity. We've gone for a walk and come across penguins. Oh my god. Aren't they hell red? Look, there's one in here. Tasmania, absolutely fantastic. 